The North American soldier, Lol Talawan, the <laughs> veteran. Stop nerd avoiding me saying going corrupting fight here. He's returned back home in America after his battles over in Europe, the successfully defeating the server and achieving Challenger. Tyler once again grinding, playing Alawi top, by the way, a champion I've been saying for a long time now is completely oh no! overtuned. Does Tyler watch my videos and potentially get tips? I think so, yet he will never admit it. Today, gonna jump onto the rip, break down Tyler's top lane Alawi, gentlemen. Um, have a little bit of fun, throw a bit of banter into a Scion here, who starts the cull. Interesting, we go the Corrupting Potion. I'm gonna try and sustain. Scion is so broken at the moment, even after over, nerfs. Yes, thankfully they FF. And... I team FF. It's surprising to see Tyler not take a longer break. Um, after what he did in Europe, playing 27 games a day, not showering for 12 days. He didn't stream, he barely talked about it, and he just got back into the job. That's a true professional, and that's why him and myself, you know, we are at the tip top of the faces of League. Some say me, others say him. It really is a 50 50. I was we. Take a solo kill into oh, the bro, top lane. Um, I have no words. Once again, this is North American server, don't get it twisted. Uh, a lot of the plays potentially. Um, no offense, I've mashed potato for brains. Tyler misses a couple of creeps. Chovy, by the way, has been playing a lot of Alawi top in his solo queue games. Um, CSing at 12 per minute and just shoves down a lane until the game's over. It's a really good strategy. I'm barely convinced any of you could play this champion for probably a month and become at least diamond after that. You just, you shove, 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 use really broken items, and, um, that's the end of that. No one really still knows, and I don't even know if Tyler does, what does Alawi do? What are the tentacles all about? Where do they go? Where do they come from? A lot of questions, um, but we do know that it can just 1v9 games, and it takes... Oh, what's going on? It just takes no damage, I don't know. game stuttering. Game stutters, we've all had that before. And usually you'll go Cleaver, Gauntlet, I'll break a perma split. Huge wave crashing, we give a couple of CS. We've Scions on one, it's no big deal. And um, Oh blue one! Cause I would lie for no reason, right please, guys! Please don't yell. Loud a streamer on Twitch, just please don't yell. Rushing the cleaver, gonna TP back in the mid lane, top lane. Sorry. Wait too much review too much me. I'm not used to this top lane, feel a little bit foreign up here. Um, MSI is well underway. Faker is battling against any type of criticism I give him, and he Man, is favorite. What the fuck? Tyler... Uh, Faker? Sorry, I confused the two. He potentially is going to win the tournament. The only person he has to get through at this stage is Knight. JDG. Chovy, G. I think they're done. Um, they'll beat C9 today. Hasn't really played yet. Ass. It's be a 3-0. So fast. Be a 3-0. Benji. Um... And then JDG T1 losers go to it, I think. So it'd be interesting. Or maybe BLG. They just beat, uh, unfortunately, knocked out G2. As we continuously harass down this Scion. I don't know if we need. I don't like I, li I don't like ganks on Alawi. I think it's unnecessary. Please, please do not miss it. Nice. HW, I, he's not worth my flash. The Scion wants to die. He's done the Bow strategy. And it's crazy to see how popular Scion is in the meta and pro play. I, they're, they're, they're trying to do this like cheese strat of diving bot and then you get Scion to tank and then the, the the zombie guy tanks as well and it just like... You can get your AD carry like two kills on a wave and it's just GG'd. You land the W, get the Qs. Ooh. See if Scion can dodge the slaps. Gets one. I always, I always loved, like, I'll, I'll watch, like, a Chovy VOD, and then I'll come in and watch Tyler, and just, like, you know, I don't mean any offense to the guy, but there is obviously two different, this might be able to get the kill, can that, I think that was going to land, flashes into the slap, beautiful Ga -ja. solo, gaja, bolo, into that scion there, nice try, my boy, that was the, <laughs> the crazy part is,
That was how he wanted to finally use his flash. And then he died right away after anyway. And we can shove here for a few plates easily. And yeah, as I said, dude, Tyler grinded no stream for like half a month, maybe even a month. It was a ridiculous grind. He got back to America, had two, three days off, kissed his girlfriend, saw his family, whatever, and then he went straight back into streaming and grinding. Does he potentially have some, like, uh, you know, addictions to the game, some might say? And I'm, I'm gonna think, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say he's just devoted to his job and his craft. Um, you know. If, if, if it was an addiction, we would have... We would have seen it by now. Like, he's been playing League for 10, 10, 10 years straight, 10 hours a day. If he was addicted, he'd probably know by now. So we could get another solo kill here. I think we need to start being more focused on the plates. We're gonna get absolutely chunked. Oh my god, poor Scion. Could pop an ult here. Do we have time? Don't get it off. It would have oh, been I'm massive so if it hit it. I'm so sick of these fucking pike players. Oh my fucking god. Don't complain, honey. God okay. damn it. Honey, it's okay. We're doing fine. Don't don't worry about that, okay? I'm back up top lane and we are... Uh... Oh, GG. Thanks for the help! You rock! And Tyler, by the way, did get in a little bit of trouble for being a bit too toxic, right? Game said uh, on the, on his EU trip, and then he came back into America and started AFK games. Um, and Tyler has essentially said, "Yeah, I did it. Now what?" And Riot Games has responded with, "We'll do nothing. If you run us. Without you, we have no viewers, except for Midbeast, of course. Um, you go ahead and troll in it. We don't care." So Riot has set the precedent there. Us streamers, if you're big enough, like me, we can get away with whatever we want. You viewers cannot. You will get permanently banned, of course. Um, but the bigger content creators, essentially, will go unpunished, it seems. So Riot Games, um, trying to save the viewers, trying to save the game. I probably watched that skinny, lanky loser on EU. The boobies feast, whatever the fuck the his Bows, name is. The Bows, FFS, don't ever speak wrong of his name again. I'll fight you in game. Probably playing better than him. I swear, if he, if he talks bad about my friend, Simon, again, I swear I will... Do things to him in Minecraft, of course. Where are you even top? Pike is top again. A little bit of fanboy moment. He hits the ultimate finally. And we're going to slap those big old tentacles. Oh my god. Um, and we have 27 people up here. And they are starting to retreat. They're starting to realize, hey. Oh, never mind, we're dead. Almost turned Ow. it. Entire top is my trigger. I'm not going to lie. Entire team top. I can handle two. Okay, get the hull breaker, start splitting. One it's okay. It's top, okay. And I might get a little toxic. Remove my camera really quick. I one more three top, and I might get a little toxic here, said. At least it gives a warning to the team. Like, hey. That's um, three top, no jungle. There's nothing that his team can really do. Like, three, if the three want to go top, they go top. He's allowing shoving. Uh, but he may get toxic, so I'm prepared. But he's, I mean, he's reformed. He, he won't get toxic. He might, though. He probably will, to be honest. We should be able to finish him off. You don't want to chase... You don't want to chase too long. Um, don't chase that. Just get the wave, yeah. It sucks. I know you want to go and chase it, but it's never worth it, gentlemen. And I like a Lowry. Do we have any cool Lowry skins? I swear we don't. It's starting to get a little bit more popular. They might sit them. Maybe, maybe she did get a skin. I can't remember. I'm actually down plate. Yep. That's Cyan for you, buddy. This Viego is going to get cop it soon. Trust me, he's going to cop it very soon. Get a little bit of downtime here. <sighs> I don't think it's worth flashing or chasing. It sucks. 300 gold. That's actually not too bad. He'll cop that. He was just sick of the proxying. He needs to get his plates. 
I thought he'd be worth like 200 or so. And there is big um debacle Great. on Good job, guys. on Twitter about how the bounty system works. I think Riot Games are gonna rework the bounty system because of Bows FFS's video. So in pro play, there was like a game where Wait, 180 carry had a 3k gold lead and it was like 100 gold bounty because he only took plates. And plates aren't worth as much as kills in gold. No. Are you okay? What are you talking about, big dog? You alright? And I wish we got to see some. I, I wish we got to see a Lowie on stage at MSI. I don't think we will. The only team that I think could do it would be Gen G. Because I know Trovi talks to Doran. Doran's played Lowie as well. I think it could get pulled out into a tank meta like a Scion. You rush cleave. I do it tremendously well just like this. But a lot of teams don't have the balls uh, to do it. So I doubt we'll see it. I'd love to, but I doubt. He'll walk in, should be able to get the plate. He's just gonna go for the outright kill. He'll get the kill, and beautiful, he lives. Well calculated, Ari comes in again. He's thinking about getting a little bit toxic, but it, Whoa, he's I'm not gonna... wits fucking in, lads. Is it his wits end? Lie. Great word. We'll make our way towards the gauntlet, into the hole breakup. And this Viego is probably going to cop it. Bot lane's entire turret also gone. How is this possible? Pike roams up three times. We need to look inner and not outer. <sighs> so we TP in. Need this tower ASAP, by the way. Need to start drawing pressure in 1v2, 1v3s. What are your thoughts on... Oh, by the way, new patch today comes out. Bunch of new items. So expect a bunch of new videos on what Bayfang's building. Mango. We got a lot of new things to talk about. So from next next video should be all on new items in League. And I'm really excited um, to talk about some of them and some new strategies we're going to be able to come up with. Lost Chapter is going to be costing 1,100 gold. Um, it's going to be an interesting meta for some of us mages. We can finally match that 1,100 spike of like Yasuo Yone plus the serrated Dirk Spikes of Assassins. Mid lane mages, mages will finally be able to kind of get a first back and come in. Because there was Flash, a- bro, that's worth it. That was not good by Viego. Um, yeah, it was- a, some, some creators were going like Lost Chapter and they would go Futures Market so they could- they'd go Sapphire Crystal and then they'd back with Futures Market to get the Lost Chapter earlier. Uh, now you don't really need to do that. You could even do it with Lost Chapter um, futures market, you can try and get it at like nine, eight, nine hundred gold. So there's gonna be some abuse coming out. There might be two weeks of us mid laners be able to get some free LP. Like, dude, uh, come on, bro. Chill. Okay, gauntlet completed. Now we can make our way towards the hull breaker. Pick up bot. I'm gonna be forced to match the scion because my fucking bird brained Anivia won't do it. Bird brain. Because she's a bird. He's a funny guy. Sometimes you let Tyler cook a little bit, let that brain warm up. He comes up with some funny things he says with his mouth. It's a nice little backdrop he's got. It looks like he's got an improvement to his streaming setup. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it looks professional. It looks like he's trying to be ninja, but then it's and then but then he, but then it's like it's not ninja. You know, it's like you see the setup. You're like, oh, where's ninja? And then it's not him. It's t it's lol Tyler fucking one. Don't know. I guess I just have to get used to it. Surprising though, Twitch streamers don't make too much money. I'm not sure how he's maybe. I'm not sure how he's been able to manage this. Monetarily wise, because it would have cost a lot of money to get a good good room and set up like that. Um, so potentially IRS if you are watching, maybe investigate a little bit. I don't want to snitch, but uh, it looks you know. Anyways, Garvin invades alt, and we'll pop the alt. 
We get the Pike Bounty, and these tentacles are starting to absolutely do work. We just picked up- My team has fucking me! We just, picked up, Scion, we, just picked up, we just picked up 1200 gold. All that one fight takes, that's what I'm talking about. I'm deaf, I'm legally deaf, I can't hear anymore, but it was worth it. It's a nice little play by him. We need to try and push this lead if pos. I'll break her up next. I'm not unloved. I'll break it 2800. Can't afford it to sell. Dude, you're kidding. Bird brain. Feeding them some KFC. Please stop. XD? For real XD. <laughs> I maybe I can't wave clear. How's the whole break? I'm excited if now. You when you hit these, sit under turret and AFK farm. I can literally, literally one v nine. It's true. He does have a point. This is where the champion becomes absurdly broken on three item spike here. You can 1v5. Like, you can literally 1v5. But clear the waves, man! Please stop shouting, Dad. Reminds me of my childhood. Please stop. Alright, shove, 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 shove. Let's go end the game. As long as the team doesn't die mid and they shove the waves, they win. Let's see what happens. It's NA, so usually they'll do the opposite of what you ask. And I'm intrigued. Not sure what his plan is. Does he want to get Herald? Okay, I like it. Come on. Stop watching. Oh, I like that. No, that's the hitbox. He's gonna go grab the wave this as well. When he grabs the wave here, it's just gonna be so hard for him to play. I don't think wasting TP... Okay. He's going for the kill. If, if he escapes with this... Oh my god! We're committing the, the kitchen sink, as they say. He says, not on, big dog. I don't play that pussy shit, He doesn't play that... Fuck out of here. Okay. The boss. You the boss, man. <laughs> you think you can beat me. And he still has ult if the enemy team tries to find his number here. Free tower. This, this tower is still... To this day, surprises me how much gold you get. Bam. Money in the bank. Now, I don't even know what you build next item. You go Death Dance. You have Gargoyle. You have so many good Bruiser I items. I don't know. You're fine. As this is all we want to do. He doesn't. You didn't. You never want to team fight. You just want to. He did have that one good team fight, but essentially, always just split down a lane and pressure if you can. Hopes to sign on down to half, less than half. Jarvin looking for the gank. Everything is going to land, and I think he will be able to potentially not quite. He gets the Jarvan. If he, I if he, got the bounty. It's actually huge. If he played it slightly differently, I My think it could completely fucked it up afterwards, though, because their life has literally no value at all. They do nothing for the human species, positively. Tough. Um, 
as I was saying, it was pretty close to making an outplay there. He looks like he might go towards the Sterax. A little bit of a shield. What, man? His team is making it tremendously hard. <laughs> God. League of Legends, what a game. How about it, yeah? How did you guys first hear about League of Legends? I'm curious. I first heard about it with Gross Gore, because I used to follow him from RuneScape. I heard Gross Gore saying he's quitting RuneScape to play League of Legends. I thought it looked like a nerd game and I didn't play it. And then my friend, IRL friend, Jack, shout out Jack. He made me download it because he said it's going to be the next big thing. And look at him. It you know, was. My team was typing so much at the start. Now it's just like dead quiet. Can win. Can win. Can win. 9.4 CS per minute here. Teleport up in 30. Get it off his wave. Sorry. Tilting. Not come bot lane, you dumbass. Oh my god, he's going to come. There's hull breaker. Bad because I was gonna fucking ult. Need a block. Oh, blocked. Jesus, he flashed on that. Alright, TP up. We gotta keep eyes on the Baron in case enemy team rushes. Warden? Team should put a ward there. Anybody? They have oh that. my god. Oh, you are such fucking... Oh, nice. Oh, They stole it. Don't worry about it. We are about to absolutely rage. But we got Baron now, and this is exactly where you want to be situated. The... You know. The fruits of NA. You just never know what you're gonna get. And I think take the base here with the keep the Baron. Yep, get the Sterax. Maybe get a Stoppy. Sterax done. Stopwatch perfect. Doesn't want the stopwatch. Doesn't want the stopwatch. Okay. I think you can lay down a sick allow you all into Stoppy, and then your tentacles should be able to I do mean, work still. Can't even play. We just a ramming it at this point. Oh, he hit it! It is the storm that is light. Aram doesn't back. It doesn't work. Back to splitting. We go. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody on my team. Oh, surely Anivia can just go over there and fucking match Sion and just press one button, right? It's not that simple. Wait, my pressure. They type a lot in NA on like how to win the game, I've noticed. Like it's often you see people like Tyler, TF Blade, a lot of the T Tarzan, they will, they will literally type to their team, do this. Whilst when you play in EU or Korea, no one really types constructive, do this, do that. It's just, it's just flame. So then you'll see, oh, you'll see NA streamers go like to Korea, go to EU and they'll start typing things and it, the people on the server are just like, what is this? Do not tell me how to play the game. My team's trolling. And his whole team drops. Jesus Christ, he might lose this game. They're down 20. 13 kills. Post maths. We're gonna make our way towards the stone plate. And we're gonna try and look ah, for the one. Crazy. One before play. Oh, good movements. Alt? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this damage. He might be able to get this guy too. Dropping in here with an inhib is not even that bad. 
There you go. Don't chase the pike. Ah, oh, this shit's crazy. My team does not want me to win this game. It does feel that way. I concur. Oh, Viego's typing. The audacity. Gargo completed. And we have full build, gentlemen. I don't scare. I don't die. And I 317 armor. Our Gargoyle should give us like a 2k health. Remember, use Gargoyle Stone Plate on Please incoming win. damage or on like one health to bait. Go bot lane right here. They just wave clear. Literally 1v... Actually 1v5. Actually. I see a lot of people use... Because Gargoyle Stone Plate is a decaying shield. So you want to use it on burst damage. Like when you're one health and you and the enemy thinks they've got you and then you instantly press it, surprise them. You have two seconds to play with to try and make a play. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Jesus. Is Tyler's movements and mechanics, I'm not even kidding, look much better after the EU trip. And he's going to move down bot lane, deal with the supers and try and get another inhibitor. Nice, nice. This should take it out to half. I think maybe just commit to it. Bam. This is good. Team's doing well, splitting down bot, and this is gonna be he's just gonna be able to keep on slamming here. Those big old tentacles straight into the scion. Not much they can really do. Bam, 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 bam. Should be able to get that. Ooh, not quite. But all the tentacles working. Sitting on ult, sitting on stone plate. Let's see how he plays it. His movements are just too clean here. Fucking kids. Oh, never mind. Prox to stone plate. Are you serious? Is he going to live? Oh my god. Put TP back in as well, full build. He's just gonna run as far as ways uh, uh, as he can from the pike. Pike's on my ass. He's gonna. Yeah, here he is. Here's Daddy. You gotta dodge everything. Oh! You fucking bots! Fucking make me so mad. Big man angry, I'm scared. It's okay, we're all here together, and he can't hurt us when we're all together, so I feel safe. But we do have an oh, open Baron S5. base. Oh my god. We so have easy. We have three oh boot cell. Boot cell. Boot cell. Boot cell. We don't have a full build. Death dance. I've never seen a larger Lowie in my life. He could TP in a 1v5. I'm not even kidding, he may do it. The safe play is get Baron, walk into the enemy base with the Baron, you got a free win. However, if you want to be a big boy and do as the big boys do, you could TP their base and try for the 1v5 play, let's see. Baron goes down, gonna TP straight onto that super, and here we go. Elixir, bam. 4.2k help. He's not here to fuck spiders, baby. He is here to kill some... Anime characters almost takes down the Ari. Oh, Ari? Ari. Yeah, you got a super there you gotta get. Team's fighting, of course. All they have to do is walk it in. Just walk it in, baby. Nice, thank you very much, Rakan. Jarvid looks for the engage. He waits, pops the ultimate. Tentacles. Don't really do too much, but we have Baron. We have open base. Enemy cannot do anything. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please, 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 please. Gargoyle. Huge. That is going to be it for today's video, gentlemen.
That will be enough for me. Enough for Don't Tyler. put down Don't fucking put down. garbage ass fucking players. Get Thank carried. you, gentlemen. Have a Dude, nice day. Brilliant. What is wrong with these fucking little freaks? These NA little freaks. Losers. <laughs> fucking little weirdos is what they are. Oh. Holy shit. What's wrong with these people, man? I'll see you in the next video, gentlemen. Catch you later.